greetings and welcome. Today I'm gonna talk about batteries, 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 batteries. Batteries sounds better. Today I'm gonna talk about batteries. Three black metal albums. That's right. So I intend on making two videos on this band. One of them I'll talk well about the three black metal albums. These three that I'm gonna talk about right here. And I'm gonna make another video talking about uh, batteries. Viking metal albums. That's gonna be really interesting. Uh, so it's like six other albums. I know there's some other albums by Battery, like three other trash metal albums. If I'm if I'm sh not sure, I don't know. I didn't listen to them, and I don't intend on listening to them. Honestly, trash metal is not that interesting. So let's get into the first album. Well, talking about the first album, um, this is not the first time I tried to listen to Battery. A long time ago. I tried to listen to the first album, to the debut, but I did not like it one bit. I did not enjoy the music at all. If you will go back and watch my video on Venom's first two albums, I I believe I mentioned that way back when I mentioned that I tried to listen to Battery and I did not like the music. And this time I tried, I focused a lot on the music, I listened a lot of times to this album and it was very hard to get at first it took me a few listens to actually start enjoying the music but after like seven times listening to this album i started enjoying it so you know it's a very short album it's 26 minutes long so i had to listen to this so many times to actually start enjoying it and now i do i enjoy it but honestly um I would rather listen to Burzum, Dark Throne, Venom, you know, uh, I can, now that I listen to this, now that I'm more fami familiarized with black metal, I can see why a lot of people don't consider Venom the first black metal band. Uh, when I made my review on uh, Venom's first two albums, I said that uh, Venom is the pure example of what black metal is. Now I don't think that's true. Now this here battery actually is what black metal uh, sounds like in reality. But you know, it's that it's that sort of case. Uh, without Venom, probably this wouldn't have existed. Without this, Burzum, Dark Throne, Mayhem, those bands wouldn't wouldn't have existed. For me, Venom still is the first black metal band. No, well, the artwork the artwork is like amazing. I really love this artwork and because I really love the artwork I really wanted to enjoy the music as well <laughs> but as I already uh, talked about that it took me many listens to actually enjoy the music so let's talk about the songs uh, Storm of Dimension sets up this evil satanic atmosphere very perfectly as if you were in hell that's what I feel like when I'm listening to this intro it's funny I love one of the longest songs in this album three minutes all the songs are around two minutes so the introduction is actually the longest song and this is a, you could not you could consider this not actual music it's more like an introduction it sounds sound effects of fire and wind and such it sets up the atmosphere of the whole album and after the intro, all the other songs pretty much have the same sound. It's when I first listened to this, it was very difficult to me for me to tell the songs apart because they all sound the same. Apart from all the songs sounding the same, the audio quality varies a lot in this album. There are songs that the audio quality is good, very good, and there are other songs that the audio quality is extremely low, extremely bad. I don't know if that was intentional, but it doesn't feel like it was for this instance here. I know there are bands that intentionally have shitty audio quality, like Philosophen by Borzum. That album sounds like shit and it was intentional, so there's that case. But in this occasion, I don't think that was intentional. Well, the, after the introduction song, uh, the album starts with Hades. You know, as I as I talked before, it really sets the evil atmosphere as if you're in hell. And then Hades, you know, it's literally the Greek hell, so it follows up the introduction track perfectly. It also starts with the same sounds of wind and fire, earth, wind, and fire. 
and after this song we go into Reaper Hades and Reaper are the same song if you just add like randomly uh, the sound effect for Reaper in the first song you cannot tell them apart literally you cannot tell them apart so yeah that's an issue for this album it depends sometimes having an album all sounding the same way is good sometimes having an album that all the songs are very different is also good it depends now looking back in retrospective about this i can't really decide if the whole album having the same sound is good or bad and to close off this the first album um, I'm gonna talk about the song War. It is very similar to Borzum's song of the same name, and I wonder if Borzum Dude was inspired by this. Huh, really interesting. So, yeah, Petri's debut, not that bad. I enjoyed it after going harshly many, many times listening to this album without enjoying it. I started enjoying it. Good album, but I'd rather listen to something else. Let's move on to the next album. Well, the artwork, I also absolutely love this artwork. Uh, it really it represents the album well, but when I look at this al artwork when, and I think about the music, the music is underwhelming in comparison to the artwork. I would say the best thing about this album is the artwork. <laughs> so. Um, something I haven't talked about is that every album ends with the song The Winds of Mayhem. Well, every album out of these three black metal albums. So there's the song Winds of Mayhem. But this album has the complete version of the song, you could say. Uh, which sounds nothing like the closing track for the other albums. The outro. So, uh, bah. I don't know, the guy decided to use the same name. So, something else that every, every of these three albums has is an introduction track. Consistent, these three albums have introduction track, these three albums end with an outro song that has the same title on every single album. So, that's interesting, I found that really interesting actually. Talking about the other songs, we have Total Destruction, it reminds me a lot of the Total Death album by Darktron. It, it has that very black and death metal sound to it although this was before black and death metal existed so maybe a proto song of that genre it reminds me a lot of total death and all the songs in this album really stab you in the gut all of these songs in these three albums stab you in the gut you can see that's a good thing or a bad thing whatever it's for you to choose and i also really like the demonic voice in the song reap of evil that I found really, really good. Like that voice in the Reap of Evil song, really enjoyed it. I would say that the song that I liked the most is the song Possessed. That was so very fun to listen to. Probably the song that I enjoyed the most out of this, out of these two albums. But the next one has better songs, in my opinion. So that's the Return of Darkness and Evil. The artwork is really the best thing about it, and the best song I found in here is Possessed, so those are my thoughts on this album. Let's go to the third and final black metal album by Battery. So to close off with these three albums, I have Under the Sign of the Black Mark. Now this one is very different from the other two. This one, when I listened to it for the very first time, I already enjoyed it, and that really stood out and this one is the one that I enjoy the most out of these three first three albums. Uh, so the only bad thing, you know, is the one that I enjoy the music the most, but is also the one that I found the artwork the most boring. It's not really that interesting, you know, there's the little guy with the goat head uh, and he's doing something funny. So the only bad thing about this album is the artwork. Well, as I said, uh, this is the best one from these three albums and something that uh, is really really good about this album is that all the songs you can tell them apart the previous two basically all the songs sounded the same uh, in the return the songs had more of a difference to them but in this album here is more explicit 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 yeah it's more explicit the difference between the songs you can really tell them apart uh, we have woman of dark desires 
I love that song. Very first time I listened to it, I absolutely loved it. We have this one has a, a different title, Equipment Torn. Equipment Torn. Well, that's it. It's a very unique song. I like it. Then we have uh, Chariots of Fire. It has a really interesting start that leads up. It sets the atmosphere for the evilness of the rest of the song. And I would say my very favorite song out of these three albums is Enter the Eter Eternal Fire. That's my favorite song as for now. Probably that's going to change when I listen to the uh, Viking Metal albums. Because I saw that some songs in them are like 10 minutes, fi 15 minutes long. I like long songs, so probably I'm going to enjoy them more. But out of these first three black metal albums, uh, Enter the Eternal Fire is my favorite. And also the song that is the longest in this album, if I'm not mistaken, is like six minutes long. And I don't have the uh, track list open right now, but I believe that's the longest song in this album. And The Woman of Dark Desires also has, uh, also is a very long song. Uh, to close off the my the section on the songs, I would say that Call from the Grave has a really interesting start and also makes that song very unique. So this album by far is the most unique out of the first three and it has the more interesting songs. So I really enjoyed this one. This was my take on the Black Metal albums by Battery. Next up I will talk about uh, their six black uh, their six Viking metal albums. Nordland 1, Nordland 2, Blood on Ice, Twilight of the Gods, Bloodfire Death, and Hammerheart. Those are the ones I'm going to talk about up next. The other albums, I'm not going to listen to them. Trash Metal is not that interesting, and I like Trash Metal. So, see you on the next video where we're going to tackle the Viking Metal albums. Until then.